the cleaning process is actually quite complicated, but the inventors say that it gets rid of about 99% of toxins off of firefighters' gear, which can lead to cancer. Inside a 14,000 square foot facility in Egan, employees load dirty pants and jackets into what mimics a normal washing machine. We need to do something good with the technology. John Wickstrom created emergency technical decon that uses liquefied carbon dioxide to remove carcinogens, metals and bacteria from gear that can come from regular household products when they burn. John says outside rigorous testing proved their process work. Machines firefighters typically use, he says like this, extract up to only 40%. We can pick up, clean, deliver, sometimes within the next day. The National Fire Protection Association recommends firefighters clean their gear twice a year or after a significant exposure, like what happened at Northfield's historic Archer House last fall that firefighter T.J. Dvorak responded to. I mean, firefighting is a risky business call it anyway so now you're also the stuff that you're wearing is creating that same or another type of risk you know. Dvorak and his department had their gear cleaned by ETD. It costs up to $300 a set including leather gloves and radio holsters that a normal cleaning system can't do. Dvorak says it's worth it. In 2019 the NFPA reports 75 percent of line of duty deaths were attributed to cancer. A lot of firefighters are aware of the issue uh, but they don't know that this solution exists yet. The company hopes to create similar systems in the future, but make them mobile so that they can especially serve rural fire departments right there on site. In Egan, Jennifer Hoff, CARE 11 News.